All right, everybody. Um, so I had a request from one of my students to do a song called Counting Stars um, by One Republic. Okay, so I'm going to kind of show you how to play this song. It's really e it's pretty easy. It's kind of a, I would kind of say it kind of fits in kind of a beginner intermediate range. Okay, so for some of my students that are very beginner, it might be a little bit above you. For my students that are, um, have been with me for a little bit, this will be great for you. Okay, so um, let's talk about the chords that we're going to be using first. Okay, so the song, the song is actually played off of capo four. Okay, and if you guys, when you, if you watch my capo video, you'll see kind of why I chose this. Okay, so I, you, I can actually play this song using bar chords, but I don't have to. Okay, so I'm not going to. So that's the beauty of this. Okay, um, so we're going to basically be putting our capo on capo four. Okay, and the idea with this is um, there's four chords. The whole song is just four chords. It's really simple, you guys. Okay, so the chords that we're going to be using is A minor. Okay, then C major, then G major, and then F. Okay, now for more, if you can play the F this way, or for my more advanced students, play the full bar, um, the F chord right here, okay, which is the E major on the first fret, okay? So F, so just once again, A minor, C, G, and F. Those are the four chords that we're gonna be using, okay? Now the technique that we're gonna be, there's couple of techniques that you want to learn with this song, okay? First one we're going to do is, is the picking pattern. Now, remember with our hands, we have P, I, M, and A, okay? Pima, okay? Should, you guys should be coming, becoming a lot more familiar with this by now, okay? What we're going to basically be doing is we're going to be doing, um, it's, it's kind of what, what we call the piano pattern, but it's, it's kind of a different version of the piano pattern, but it's a, a bit, so we're going to be doing P and then I and then M and A together and then coming back to I. So it looks like this, dun, dun, bum, bum. Okay, one more time, bum, 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 bum. Okay, so when I play it, it'll look like this. Okay, let me do that again. So P, I, and then M and A together and then back to I, okay? Okay, so that's the picking pattern we're gonna be using. With, when we put it with the four chords, it'll look like this. Okay, so that's the first technique that we're going to be using with this song, okay? Then what we're going to be doing is, is if you've been working on the one video that I've been showing you with the palm muting, we're going to go to what's called the triangle. Remember, we talked about the triangle. Triangle is the, when we're using these, the fingernail just like a pick, okay? So when we're using that now, okay, we're going to be using this fingernail just like we were holding a pick, okay? We're gonna go to the triangle. Now the reason for that is because I'm coming out of picking and I'm gonna to go to a strumming pattern, okay? So that's where this triangle using that nail becomes really, really valuable, okay? And what we're gonna do, we're gonna do this palm muting. So we're gonna be palm muting while we're using the triangle, okay? So the idea here We're just going to be kind of muting and playing at the same time. So we come out of picking. Okay, that 
that's the rhythm, okay? And that's the whole song, okay? So you're either doing this, or you're bum 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 You're doing one or the other, okay? Now, there's a spot in the bridge where it kind of, what's really, really fun to kind of do there is to do what's called chickas, okay? And a chick, remember, if you've been practicing, a chick is when we, um, when we just, we're playing, but we're not playing a chord, we're just playing just strings. So what we're doing is, is we're keeping a rhythm going without, You can kind of play with that a little bit. You can just do just chickas the whole time. You can do, uh, you can mix the two. You can mix them up kind of however you want. But that's in like the bridge section when he's just kind of talking, okay? And you just kind of have just the drums going. And then you're back and then he comes back in again with the chorus line, okay? So that's kind of the gist of it. Picking into the strumming with the triangle, okay? Palm muting, okay? Um, and then uh, the chick is in the ridge, okay? So try that, have fun with that, and see what you guys can come up with um, with that. And if you have any questions or anything, give me a call or text me or whatever, and we'll kind of go up there and I'll try to answer them, okay? All right, guys, have a great day.